It's so bad. It's awful. Bronze kneecap looking ass over here. He's like the opposite <laughs> of the crimson chin, the golden forehead. Like, what is that? It's ugly <laughs> as hell. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the HDR Podcast. I'm your host today, Ethan. Joining me, as always, are my good friends, Kyle. Hello. And Hunter, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing just as well. Uh, uh, let's be real. Are you guys feeling festive? We're nearly there. It's oh, getting yeah, crazy. It fit, yeah. You know, it's weird, right? Because it's only a week away, but it feels longer, you know? Like, Dude, I know. Genuinely... And, like, the, the Game Awards just wrapped up. Mm-hmm. It was, it was those, so crazy, everything that those, got announced. Yeah, I, I'm so happy and or disappointed with that show. It's really crazy. Um, Dude, I can't believe Kingdom Hearts 4 did or did not show up. Hunter, how many war crimes were there nuts. again? Oh, it was eight. Oh, that's crazy. Damn. That's absolutely crazy. Um, if you're wondering what Just the like hell is this. like two of us predicted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <If> exactly. You, <laughs> I probably will announce this last week, probably. But if I didn't, hi. Um... We're doing some, uh, over this holiday season, we're still coming to you every week, but we're doing some pre-records, we're doing them all a bit mixed match so we can have a break. So, we're, we, we're, we're in the future at the moment, like, we don't know, we haven't seen the Game Awards yet, so this is in between those two episodes, so, uh, hopefully it went well. I still think it'll be a tragedy, but we'll find out last week, I guess, because that's how this works now. Very weird. <laughs> um, but, um... Like I said, there's going to be no disruption during the holiday season. So, hey, uh, Christmas Day, if you've got nothing better to do, if you're sick of your family, come on down. We'll be having an episode next week uh, talking about uh, basically just giving a, an overview of the year and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, you can watch it with us next Monday or on Boxing Day. Nothing ever good happens on Boxing Day. So, you know, we give yeah. you the options. You, you can you can come a day later. We don't mind. Um, we'll give you some background noise while you're putting everything away. Yeah, exactly. I have a put yeah. We'll see. I, I never put stuff away on Boxing Day. I, I usually, it's like... I never really think about it. Yeah, I don't... I don't what is what's the point? I don't know what the point of Boxing Day is. I really don't. Anyway. Like, like my family just will one day be, after Christmas just be like, well, you want to put this stuff away, I guess. And we're like, yeah, sure. Why yeah, not? Yeah, my parents, my parents will always be like, this is, as long as it's before a certain date, they're fine. But I don't ever remember what that date is. But it's, it's before a certain date, anyway. Um, but yes, um, so you can tune into that next week. But this week, we are talking about some of the worst character designs in video game history. Uh, we're, we're talking the worst of the worst. We're not talking the <laughs> mediocre. We're not talking every generic uh, soldier that you have ever found in any first-person shooter of all time. We're not talking about those. We're talking about the bad. We're talking about the ugly uh and I think it's going to be very interesting, especially from these two, because my game tastes <laughs> pretty fucking basic. But these two, these two eccentric. I mean, look at Hunter. You see what he wears. Look at you see Hunter's jacket. You know <laughs> that he's played some weird shit in his talent in his life, dude. He's going to have some weird stuff to talk about. So it's going to be we pretty know good. That's a dude who understands fashion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hunter, he's 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 right next to no more. You know, they call dude. him the yeah. Rizzler on the streets. Yeah, that, that is true. That, I don't that think is a fact. Anyone calls me. That. <laughs> no, that is a fact fact hunter that is a fact um but yeah i think it's going to be a fun one uh so yeah i mean we'll dive straight into it but yeah this is the show podcast we're here every monday at 5 p.m uk time 12 p.m eastern on podcast services everywhere and slightly later on youtube.com forward slash hot gamers only um obviously as we're going into the christmas season like i say we're still here we might be winding down a slight bit but we'll still be here as we move into uh january and all that good stuff and more games coming eventually um so if you want to subscribe and get used to all that get ready for all that stuff should i say uh like I say we've got a lot of games coming out we've got the the batch of games in february which is looking crazy we've got other games in january that's creeping up around the corner like another code and tech and stuff like that so there's plenty of stuff coming out so make sure you're here for all that good stuff um with all that out of the way really i'm ready to kind of get straight into it because hunter was this one of your ideas? I believe this was one of your ideas. I think so. It was one I just kind of tossed out there. Uh, what was your inspiration behind this? Why did you think that this would make a good topic episode uh, for the podcast? Its vicinity to Christmas made me think of ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes uh, that's, that's all you that's need. True. That's so true. I just thought of, so I just thought, huh, okay, bad character designs. Let's go with that one. Yeah, I mean, this was originally 
we can talk a little bit about it. I also want to say that in these in the in the future episodes, we're not going to keep referencing how we're in the future or bloody blah, blah blah blah. We're not going to do that. But I think it is interesting when we were looking at the timetable originally. This one was originally going to be out on Christmas, but then we thought that it was a bit too niche of a topic to chuck out on that point, so we then moved it a week early. Um, but like I say, I should have, I've, I've got my ugly sweater right there, but then I'll wear the exact same thing next week, so I feel like I'll save it. But yeah, it's interesting, right? Because we i i always think that it's like I've, I've played so many jrpgs and so many i don't want i don't want to say japan that you're eccentric but uh spoiler alert you kind of are um but most of the time good character design you're just like that's a good character design i respect that character design like you know i was playing jedi recently uh, and uh, Marin's new redesign i'm like that's a good redesign of the character like that is a very i liked her good... new design more than i thought i would because i thought that her first look in the or her look in the first game was already really solid yeah so when... but i'm just like i respect that but when when there's an awful character design i feel like it's the opposite where it's like you just kind of you subtly respect a good character design whereas you vocally laugh and mock a terrible character design and it can sometimes throw you out of a game entirely so i think it's an interesting one to discuss um uh, it was your idea, Hunter, so I'm going to throw the ball to you first. Uh, which game does this wonderful character, your first pick, come from? Oh, I'm going to start with one of the worst designs I've seen this year. Yuma Coco Head from <laughs> Master Detective Archive Rain Code. <laughs> what Looks is like up with his stupid bucket hat, dude? Like, can we be real here? Like, I, you know, I don't the understand. worst part is that I would take the hat over his stupid haircut. You know, that is a valid uh, point, Hunter. That's a valid point. Because for those of you who haven't uh, seen what this uh, tragedy of a character looks like, uh, let me just get uh, a nice little... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hop over. His think, official I... art makes him look so short. He's I think we can like go over. four feet tall, man. Oh my no, god. So he's four feet tall. He has this stupid fucking haircut. Oh, hello. Someone's animated that on uh, Google Images. But he's got this stupid bucket hat, which, can we be real here for a second, right? You know when you see... And this is... I'm not fashionable in the slightest, okay? Tr trust me. I don't try to... I don't make that much of an effort. I do on very rare occasion. I never have for this podcast. Um, But, you know, it's like... You know when you sometimes see people like I, I I feel like it's in the last five years I've seen bucket hats come back I've seen people outside in bucket hats before and I'm like I don't, I don't get fashion but why like of all the things they looked stupid when I was five like even five year olds didn't want to wear them back then why is that a thing like why is it a thing they're so garbage and also he has such a round head anyway adding something like that on top doesn't help it really does <laughs> happen. Um, yeah, and like the rest of his uh, moving from the neck down, it doesn't get better because like the dude's wearing shorts and then he's got leggings on. <laughs> yeah, it's he's also got like a scarf that goes into a cape. Is that am I looking at this right? It's like a yeah, it's like a hybrid, right? It's like a like a cloak, it's like a cape. It's like a Maybe. cloak. It's got a bit of a neck bit to it, but not a hood. And like that would look, that would probably out. look good on a better design, but yeah, the rest of his outfit does not. Um, you know, it doesn't it's, look good on a four foot kid with a bowl cut. It's yeah, funny because like, now that you mention it, I'm like, you know, that would make way more sense, Kyle, would to be have like a cloak with a hood on it because then it would look kind of like a raincoat and it would probably look a lot better while he's outside if he's just got a hood over his head instead of a fucking bucket hat. Like, yeah, and then it would match his little rain boots. Yeah, yeah. it's so and, like, stupid. The cloak doesn't seem very impressive when it's on a short guy like yuma there because like that's a that's the size of a throw blanket yeah i honestly <laughs> it's like lioness from from peanuts with his yeah. little blanket <laughs> i think it's weird though because like i think most of the designs in raincoat are actually pretty strong for a yeah. game that is made by the mm. danganronpa art the department which are a hit and miss uh designers in general really they're pretty hit and miss but everybody else is pretty solid but i still don't understand what because because if you i still don't know how old yuma was i can't tell if he was supposed to be young or if he was just a short <laughs> king dude i don't know what was the <laughs> idea he here ostensibly like a 14 year old but he does. they well, 14 year old they like, speak but... as if he's like 18 or the same age as like all the other characters like yeah. uh karumi 
Like, Karumi is, like, 17 or something. So I expected... I'm like, okay, he must be around their age then. But then, no, he looks like he's 12 and he looks like he's just been let out of elementary school or whatever. (laughs) Like, he's like... like, I agree, it's pretty bad. Um, He's got a terrible design. He's got a stupid name. Like, it's just... (laughs) Poor Yuma is probably... And I'm going to get this image up here because I think they've got a very good point here on the right. If you genuinely just make his hair longer, he just looks like Kyoko from Danganronpa 1. Like, he literally is the exact same character design if you change their hair. Um, which is crazy because it's so funny how a good character design in one game can turn into an awful character design just by cutting the hair. It's like, it's kind of bizarre. Um, so now I a hundred percent agree with it. It's, he's a stupid looking character, which is a shame. Cause like I say, most of the other characters in that game are very solid. Um, it's it's funny too because as far as like actual character wise i think he's better than most of danganronpa's protagonists and i mean while we're while we're sitting here you know while we're kind of perusing while we're trying to get to the bottom of all of this i mean we might as well just get it out of the way while we're talking here let's just go straight to its (laughs) ugly older brother dude yeah (laughs) Danganronpa has some absolutely disastrous uh, character designs. It just does. Um, do you have a particular hatred for... There's there's so many to choose from. I feel like you could go game by game. If Fumi looks like a beaver <laughs> mixed with a hippo. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't like him. There are other characters in the first game that look pretty bland, but he's the standout, like, bad design. For yeah, sure. this is uh, Hifumi here. He's pretty bad. Like, he's pretty terrible. Um, I just, yeah, I'm so glad. Cal, I'm so glad your webcam's in the way, because um, this is not nothing nothing not suitable, but literally one of the, oh. I clicked on an image of Hifumi and the thing that was you were, that your webcam oh, was no. partially blocking was a photo uh, was a photo like an artist's rendition of him topless, so all you could see was oh. just like the like the corner of his belly. So it's fine. <laughs> there was nothing that was like um, particularly Man, I forgot bad. Forgot to turn his safe search on. Oh no! Actually, I lied. That is a completely. That's an official piece of artwork. That's from the Danganronpa S game that they did. That oh, none of us have ever played. The uh, thing that came with decadence. I also want to say, Kyle, that my safe search is on. So there oh. you go. Oh, it, no. it, it passes the. It passed the safe search test. There you go. It passed the filter. Um, but now I think, like I say, I think there are some utterly awful designs in. Um, like I say, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. The nurse from Danganronpa 2. I hate Mikan. that. Yeah, Mikan. hate that design. The girl with the crescent moon hair in Danganronpa 2. Not a great design and the worst personality. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tiny bit, yeah. Which is a shame. Because there are some great designs in Danganronpa. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, why is it so great, 50-50? There are, some, there are some classics there. Like, I think I think Kyoko looks great. I think uh, Ryoma looked really good in the third game. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I yeah, think most there's... of the main characters always look good. And then you have, like, a couple of characters who... I don't want to say necessarily a throwaway, but but are, but that are still have good designs, like uh, Ibuki from Danganronpa 2. And there's, like, other ones where I'm like, okay, I like those designs. They're pretty decent designs. But then there's so many shit ones. And then you're like, oh, they must be the... Dis- they're going first. Like, they just, you know, get them out of here. And then someone like Kafumi lasts half the fucking game. And you're like, how is he not first? Like, he would have tripped <laughs> on the stairs really... and died. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah, or someone, like, relatively nondescript. Like, I don't know. Um, Kazuichi. Was that yeah. his name? The, the yes, Kazuichi guy. Soda. Yeah. Yeah. He's who <laughs> lasted a long time. Script and he lasted <laughs> forever. <laughs> I didn't want to spoil and the game, but yeah, I guess yeah. you can say that. But yeah, well, uh, Danganronpa forever has... in the abstract, not the specifics. Yeah, and like um, I guess he had pink hair, so that made him stand out. But like against his mechanic thing, he just looked like a toothpaste. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. But yeah, some awful, awful character designs in Danganronpa, and I mean, yeah. 
You just gotta you, you roll with the punches. That's the thing about Danganronpa. I was we were talking to a friend yesterday about it, and it was like, I love Danganronpa in some ways, but I also despise it in many. Like it's like I am equally rooting for its downfall at the same time as enjoying the like the product <laughs> at times. It's like it's a fifty fifty. There's so much wrong with Danganronpa, um, but there's a few things that it does really well. Um, Kyle, let's throw it over to you. What have you got for us? All right. I'll start us off nice and simple. Luke from Street Fighter. This oh. dude... Oh, like, yeah. So, he was one of the last characters introduced in Street Fighter V's DLC. Everyone fucking hated him. He looked like a doofus. Yeah. He played like a doofus. His forearms are bigger than his biceps. Like... I don't know what Capcom was thinking with the original design for Luke. Especially, like, looking forward to Street Fighter VI, where they're like, yes, this is our new main character for Street Fighter. He's gonna replace Ryu, and everyone's gonna love him. Yeah. It's like, hmm, I don't think so, Chief. Like, I don't think his, I don't think his design in Six is horrible by any I, it, I think his design in Six is better, but I've... Nah, I'm but, still like, not a fan. But, like, it's also not good yeah like, i don't think it's like there's nothing there's nothing about him that would make me pick him yeah I mean, yeah in, in street fighter 5 i think it's really bad like it and I, I know that a lot of the um the designs in street fighter are very kind of um you know <laughs> stereotypical so you'll have stuff like the stars on him tattooed and the usa oh, yeah, printed dude. all over him and shit like that and you're like yeah, that's a bit stupid. Like <laughs> the fucking windswept hair, dude. Like genuinely, like that's. And, and I mean, Street Fighter V's art style doesn't help him either. Where everyone looks no, like, like look at that. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, like that's it, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't look great. Um, <laughs> like look at Ken think... from Street Fighter V. He looks yeah, so he looks bad. Like I think the problem with Street Fighter V in general is, is like you know, there's there's plenty of iconic designs in Street Fighter, but the Street Fighter mm. V art style really didn't help they didn't translate well translating any of them really so everybody looks yeah. fucking weird in that game uh and then thankfully street fighter 6 um, just redesigned changed everybody its way. except blanca because he's perfect yeah blanca is perfect the perfect Actually, brazilian they gave they gave him a mascot suit too on top yeah. of his regular design so <laughs> they added to the perfection <laughs> <laughs> but they unfortunately didn't get rid of that. They they forgot to say start making good art though uh, when they did the box art because my gosh the Street Fighter Six oh, box God. art is still the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, not good yeah, it's it was bad. really bad. He just looks so ugly. You're not doing him justice, guys. You're not doing him justice in that. It's like not... he's not gonna sell your game. No. If anything, his voice actor is selling your game more than he is. Yeah. Oh, Alex Lee. God. But my god, and Street Fighter, Street, like I say, Street Fighter always kind of they have these great iconic, uh, like they have these iconic character designs. They just have iconic designs in general, and mm -hmm. then they just always fuck up in the most like, easy ways. Like it's like you know, box art, some really ugly character designs that they kind of had a second thought about. Um, when they, the whole logo debacle, where they just. Yeah. Horrendous monetization, the stupid logo. Do you remember the first two iterations oh, of the Street Fighter Six <laughs> logo that were really bad? And then the third one, which I still think is bad, but they just gave up on it and were like, it's better than the first two <laughs> attempts. Good job, everyone. Like, <clears throat> like, I still think it's so funny. But, uh... Oh, well. What are you going to do? Uh, Hunter, I guess it's back to you. What do you have All next right. on your list of I tragedy? I guess we'll keep with the uh, fighting game theme here because they make for... A, it, it, if you go looking in the right places, there's a whole <laughs> bounty of bad fighting game designs. Oh, and yeah. I'm going to jump to Mortal Kombat for this one. And I'm not even going to bully the newer games that I don't like as much. And I'm going to go what to... I'm going to go all the way back to Mortal Kombat Deception, which is my favorite one. But, my God, the alternate costume for Sub-Zero in that game is no, is bad, which is a shame because his like default costume is the best he's ever looked. But his alt is this, like, Ooh. goofy... He's got, like... It's predominantly black, which doesn't help because he's supposed to be like icy, and that 
goat. It doesn't really visually indicate much there. He Is has he's a wearing goofy... a mask, like a blue mask. Yeah, he's got a blue mask and a goofy like top like a white braid thing, white face. Yeah. yeah, I've got it up here. It's not the hottest look, to be honest. No, no, it... and like the yeah. render that you probably found it's doesn't even show goober. like yeah <laughs> the, doesn't go down to his legs where his pants are like weird and baggy and it no don't of... worry i've got a bit, i've got gameplay footage of it well not footage oh. one image of it on gameplay <laughs> yeah it looks like uh, it, the whole outfit is like weird and baggy and looks vaguely that's his, like a that's dress. His original one for comparison oh, you yeah, can't really yeah which is the best he's ever looked he look he's got this cool shredder helmet and he's got the sick like shoulder pads and a cool fur collar it's great and Dude. i'll just uh, do this real quick Thank this you, is the thing with, like, there. fighting game alt costumes. It's, like, usually the first costumes they make are just so good that anything besides that just looks wrong. Especially for a character, icon an iconic character like Sub-Zero or Scorpion. You sound like yeah, me playing yeah, an yeah. RPG. You, you will stay in your base outfit and you will like <laughs> it. Like... I mean, I'm like that with certain party members in RPGs. And, yeah. But, uh... But, yeah, like... And, like, there have been other designs since then, since that one that I don't like <clears throat> for Sub-Zero. Like, I don't think Mortal mm. Kombat 11 Sub-Zero was very good. Um, the masks it, for the ninjas in this newer game is are all still, the default ones anyway, are all still pretty stupid. But um, yeah. this is definitely the worst he's ever looked, by far. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So when you brought up Mortal Kombat at the start, I really thought you were going to talk about mocap. No, no, no. Like, why, <laughs> why get upset about that? He's a joke character anyway. I mean, yeah. People who get upset about mocap are dumb. <laughs> oh, when you say mocap, you mean literally a mocap artist. Yeah, his name, character. it's a mo. <laughs> There's a, a guy in a mocap suit. Named mocap, yeah. but with a K. Well, they spell cap with like they do with, yeah. with a K. Because yeah. only Johnny Cage is allowed to have the C. Yeah. It's his. Yeah, no, that's it's just funny. That's funny. I think that's suit. quite funny. <laughs> Getting that's upset good, by cool. him is stupid. I've always wished they did, uh, yeah. It's you know how they did like in the original Uncharted, they had all the stupid suits. I think it would like the stupid outfits, like you had Fat Drake and stuff like that. I still think it'd be really <laughs> funny to just take them the same same thing, do a motion capture suit because that's what they basically had to do for ninety percent of it. Um, yeah. You know, mm. stuff it's like that. It's kind of it's it's cute. It's a fun little um, bless you gimmick. Um, Let's go back to the 2000s really quick, right? Oh, no. I feel oh, like boy. in the 2000s, 2000s were a time <laughs> for a lot of older franchises to get a new look, you know, to kind of redesign it, build themselves for a new audience, especially if it was a predominantly younger audience. And, you know, there's a, there's a certain franchise that means a lot to a lot of us here. Uh, and had that had an awful redesign in the late to the mid to late two thousands, and that was of course uh, Crash Bandicoot with Crash of the Titans. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> so uh, for those of you who've never seen Crash of the Titans, they decided you know what Crash needs to do. He needs to look more scraggly. Which to be fair, I don't actually mind the scraggly looking design mm. of Crash. I really don't mind him looking a bit more you know, uh, Looney Tunes-esque, shall we say, because I think it kind of suits him in a way. It's the, let's give him uh, proper jeans with a punk belt and tribal tattoos like the Game Boy Advance SP. That's like, someone, li like, you Is cannot convince me. Yeah, and Converse's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy genuinely just came from a My Chemical Romance concert, dude. Like, that's what happened. And it's like, I just oh, look at it. harsh to My Chemical Romance. Isn't that? It? But it's like, it just, it makes me laugh because it's like, all, most of the other designs in this game, well, there's another one. I did want to say there's there's Exhibit 2 and that's Tiny from Crash of the Titans, which is <laughs> also land. Why did they just make him a regular tiger? No, my favorite <laughs> part is because, of course, it's the 2000s, so we have to do a reference for something that was still quite, like, potentially irrelevant as well there, so they made him look like a Mr. T-looking ass over here, dude. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, it's... It's Which doesn't so make sense because bad. Crunch was the one. Because Crunch is, yeah, so Crunch was like, right yeah. there. What's their problem? It's just like they already what? did that reference absolutely back in Tag Team awful. Racing when they like, look at that. The absolutely awful design, and it's a shame because there are some things that I'm like, you know, 
some characters, I don't think they're that bad. For example, I know some people didn't like. I, I personally think the Cortex designs and the engine designs and all the other stuff that came from this game, I'm like, they're perfectly fine. They're serviceable. I'm like, I don't yeah. hate them. I don't like that they made Cortex's head so small. I don't think... Oh, it's so good. round? Like, it's very rounded as well. It's not yeah. as... Um... Like, I thought I thought that the exaggerated giant head really worked for Cortex being the cartoonishly incompetent evil scientist. Oh, 100%. But I also didn't hate it either. Like, when I look at other ones. I know oh, some people Uga hate... Luka sucks in that game. I don't like his design either i'm not a huge fan of uh i'm not a, a huge fan of uh crunch either i don't think crunch this is a this is a steam workshop thing so uh it's not official artwork but it is using the renders but i don't i'm not a huge fan of the crunch redesign either i think it's awful a lot of people hate the coco redesign and i'm like coco is just basic character anyway i'm like that yeah. doesn't offend me it's fine you know, for a two for 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 if you're a game designer, right? You're trying to redesign some iconic characters, and you're like, okay, we need Coco to look like a girl in the two thousands. I feel like that basically fits that bill. <laughs> They've done that job. They've done their work. I think there are worse Coco designs, to be honest with you. Um, but the rest of them, oh, the masks as well. The fucking, yeah, I take yeah, it back. Yeah, like yeah. half this game is awful looking. Like the <laughs> mask. Luca oh. specifically, like, really annoyed me because I'm like, why did you make him? Like at least Aku Aku vaguely. Resembles... Oh, the dangly fucking bones and the weird yeah. half a chin, dude. Like, like he has half a mouth, not the full mouth. Like he just talks from and the bottom. Like, there's a lot of times where he's talking and they zoom in on him while he's talking and like you just watch the little bones wiggle as if there's still <laughs> part of his mouth that's moving. It's as if there's a second it. half of his mask that's been ripped off, which yeah. is bizarre. So yeah, um, mm. Crash of the Titans has some absolutely horrendous designs. And I think even though a lot of them were kind of fixed a bit for Mind Over Mutant, I do think that uh, Mind Over Mutant's designs are a tad better. Um, did they have different designs in that game? Uh, yes, yes, they did. Um, Crash has basically the same design, oh, yeah. but uh, they toned down his tats a tiny bit. It's been a year. His body's healed a bit more, Kyle. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Crunch has a completely different design. Uh, let's get a better image of that. Coco's from... There you go, hmm. there's a better image of Coco, because... Coco was fa had a back towards the camera in that one. Um, no IMDB. I would just like to see the image. Thank you. Um, again, if anything, I'm like, this design is weirder for Coco, actually. I'm like, I don't hate it, but... Um... She looks like a Jack and Daxter character. It looks like, do you know, it looks like they tried to age her up a tiny bit and what the name of the girl is from Jack and Daxter. She looks like the mechanic from Jack and Daxter. Cali yeah. absolutely nailed it on the head. They're like, this game's a year li later. She's slightly older. Girl from Jack and Daxter won. Literally the exact Perfect. same design. That is genuinely what they did. Um, but still, I think the designs are bad, uh, even if they are slightly better in Mind Over Mutant. Um... Spyro also went through this, but I don't hate the designs in Legend of Spyro. Uh, mm. Spyro might show up again later, though. In which way, we'll have to find out. Oh, no. um, Kyle, where do you so, want to go next? Um, Let's go to the land of Japan. Oh, boy. Uh, Lulu from Final Fantasy X. What? That's a dumb opinion. <laughs> oh, of all no. the designs in Final Fantasy X, that's the one that bothers you? Yes. That's great. <laughs> yes, this is the one that bothers me the most. What? Uh, hang on, hang I... on, hang on. Kids, kids, kids. It seems like we need an impartial third-party opinion. Let me have a look. Let us Hold decide. On, Ethan, before you look, I just want to tell you, Final Fantasy X takes place on an island it, it, at I got, the start like, of the game. I got I got the idea of it because I've seen the cover art and also from Kingdom Hearts 1 and everyone else also being on an island. I was like, you know, they probably got that from ten. That was my idea. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so why do you hate this design? Kyle, I can understand from a um, <laughs> they're supposed to be on an island uh, opinion that where this That's very elaborate, you know, really, you know what? Yeah, this is Kyle, the design. I want to tell you something. I... No, <laughs> it doesn't when, really fit the setting. When I when I spent months in Texas a few years ago, where it was a hundred degrees. Yes, but I still you were wore this coat Hunter. all the time. So is Lulu. It's not that no, hard to right. imagine. <laughs> 
Right, I want, I've want. i got an image of her up here, and if we crop the top half off here, it's just the dress, I'd be like, I know they're on an island, but I'd have no problem with this design. It has, it's, mm-hmm. it has the similar problem that Kingdom Hearts 2 has, where they just go down, they, we go to the bottom half of the design, and it's as if someone went into Tetsuya Nomura's office and just saw the big sign that says, belts are cool, and then they were like, <laughs> damn, we should follow the lead, bro, like, belts are cool. This is fucking stupid. The belt dress. There's so many worse designs in that game. Give me some, man. Give me some. Titus, Waka, they all look really stupid. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's why I'm like, (laughs) you can just not like... He's got that Rex strip, bro. He's got that Rex strip. Like, you can not like the design (laughs) ethos of Final Fantasy X. That's fine. But specifically singling out Lulu is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. No, I think that, yeah, that's... Not, Actually, pretty... no, I forgot how bad Waka looked. I he's got, got a stupid got rooster that feather far, yeah. coming out of his forehead. Man's for... It, it looks like he's got, like... I, I don't know if it's, like, suspenders or overalls <laughs> that long went halfway up his torso. <laughs> like, Fucker no, got that Bob so Ross... Fucker's got that Bob Ross paintbrush hair, dude. Look at that shit, <laughs> dude. For... <laughs> Fucker's ready to paint. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what, Hunter? You've convinced me. I forgot how feel. bad Waka actually <laughs> looked. Like he was on my list. Oh shit! I was That's like, really? when you said Final Fantasy X. I'm like, oh shoot, there goes one of mine. And then you said the best designed <laughs> character in the game, and I'm like, oh no, this is stupid. I would still give best design to probably Yuna or Orin. Okay, yeah. Uh, Orin does but no, that's pretty good. Orin's pretty sweet. I feel like Square had a lot of problems with. Um belts though dude like i'm not about i'm not a belt person whenever i see the fucking belts in kingdom hearts or now in final fantasy 10 <laughs> apparently i'm always like that's lame as shit it's lame as shit this is what a teenager in the 2000s would be like oh bro that's so cool bro that's so sick and then just looking back at it i'm like I mean, no. to, in its defense it was appealing to teenagers in the 2000s yeah I mean, guilty and teenagers the same thing back in then. the 2000s and no one like was concentrated on the belts stupid. either they were all focused on lulu's necklace <laughs> i didn't even notice her necklace to be honest i was just i noticed the belt <laughs> and her personality hunter uh, what's the necklace uh oh, it's oh pretty well big. no it's not necessarily the necklace i was making a joke about its proximity to uh oh the actual, ah, yeah. to, to the personality it's a personality, dude. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. Thanks for that, Hunter. Um, I'm shocked. Wow. <laughs> JRPG fans try not to be horny challenge impossible. Like, there you go. Wow. Um, but no, Final Fantasy X, I will admit, does have some pretty uh, weird and w- wacky designs. I'll give them that. Um, Hunter, why do you want to go now? All right, so... This next one, uh, I tried not to pull from things from the early era of 3D games that much because it's just not fair. <laughs> but mm-hmm. so I had to focus on the actual like if it if it were to be remade and they kept the exact same design, would it still look bad? And I think that for the great fairy from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You Have see, fun I want to go one, one step. I want to go. I want to go one step further. I want to cause a controversy. Period. I think that the Great Fairy's design in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are also fucking terrible. I think the whole idea see, is I thought they were fine. garbage. I no, I think I remember what they look like in that game. They're just big, giant fucking people that are like come out. I, I just, I think they, they all look stupid. I think they. All look oh stupid. yeah, I don't like the designs of the Great Fairy in old yeah. or new Zelda. <laughs> I mean, there have been a couple of designs that were pr- like I thought the one in Wind Waker was fine. Uh, like let's let's get like let's get the Ocarina one out of the way first, dude. This is like my sleep paralysis demon right here. Like I do not want to. That's not someone that's gonna help me. That's someone that's gonna jump scare me and kill me in a Resident Evil. <laughs> she like, greets no. you with a blood curdling scream every time you wake her up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas the great fairies from Beth- Breath of the Wild <laughs> just feel like, I don't know what it is about them. It's just the fact that they're just like massive and giant. And it's just like, they all just kind of, they they do nothing for me at all. Like I just think they're 
stupid designs, to be honest. I just don't like the whole idea of them. But that's just maybe that's just a personal opinion on great fairies in general. Um But yeah, I can agree with it. The ones in Ocarina and Majora, they do look like nightmare fuel. Like they don't like that. Yeah, and like and like I said, a lot of that you know, a lot of the ab abjectly horrific things are because she's made of like triangles. <laughs> but even if it were Got to be Laura like Croft syndrome, it were if it were to be remade now, like that design, just the lady with the leaves strewn about her there wouldn't really yeah, look that, good. I don't that think. wouldn't fly. No, I was when I put it on the screen, I, I didn't keep it on for long, so I'm like, I don't know if YouTube <laughs> will, will, talk, will, will have a fit about that one, so we'll keep that one brief. But, um, yeah, they're not particularly great. Uh, I have to agree. Um, do you know what? I'm going to say it. We, we we talked about Final Fantasy X. We talked about my dislike for Kingdom Hearts 2's over exception of Belts. Uh, I feel like there is something that I have to say, guys. And it's going to be you, hard to hear. You hate Donald Duck. I knew it. Yeah, dude. Oh, I hate Why can't Donald he put on Duck. pants? Yeah, problem. dude. Like, come on. This is a family what a game. Like, what are you playing at? Like, this is, this is ridiculous. This is absurd. Um... No. Uh, some people may think it's cool, some people may think it's wacky, but I think this is stupid, and I would like to, Your Honor, take you to a particular uh, thing, and it is uh, Exhibit A is a character called Roxas, and uh, Exhibit B is a character called Ventus, <clears throat> and I think it's stupid that I think this whole fucking thing is stupid. I don't care. I still don't think that it's a good... The way that they resolved the, them looking the same was good either. I think the whole thing about this is stupid. I, oh. and, it, like, yeah, and I'm not I'll a huge fan of... Well, hold on, let's get this straight. I think Sora's design is fucking abysmal in Kingdom Hearts 1 with his clown shoes and his fucking yeah, stupid his, hair. like toddler onesie, yeah. Yeah, and his toddler onesie. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I also Stupid think I don't like Roxas's design either. I think it looks dumb as well. I think the only reason people like Kingdom Hearts 2's outfit so much is because you had played such a you had such a shit outfit in Kingdom Hearts 1 and then you start Kingdom Hearts 2 in another shit outfit and then you're like, "Oh, finally, something tolerable." Like, like thank God, like it's at least decent. I just I don't like these characters at all. And then you know, I can kind of accept his summer attire. The organization shit. It, I hate the organization cloaks, dude. I genuinely despise it. I think it's funny because it's like, oh, look, the edge lords are coming as they're walking out their portals, dude. Like, <laughs> but from an actual design perspective, I think it's stupid. I think it would work better if they, if uh, when you fought them, they had another set of clothes underneath that actually, like, accentuated <laughs> you mean like the yakuza syndrome them. dude that whenever someone walks into a fight just rip their shit off like rip the hood <laughs> off dude. yeah like something to actually like get clue this you is in my final form what they do because like what is it just, uh, I, feel, uh, I feel like there's an example of this that is escaping me right now but having like a bad guy uniform and then an actual like design that speaks to what they would yeah uh, you know what they're specialized in mm. I just think it looks, time. I think it's like, it's so basic, it's so stupid, and you understand that the reason that he's done it is so that he can hide faces of people, and he's carrying on doing this with Kingdom of the next saga, because the Master yeah. of Masters wears the exact same fucking outfit. But, and I think on the PS2, it almost looked fine, you know, a basic outfit for a console that had the power to do stuff, but not something ex like eccentric and exceptional. As soon as we got to PS3, like PS, like the movies, and then later on Kingdom Hearts 3, and you see them all in their stupid, shiny, like ugly looking coats, I'm like, they're no, so glossy, is, dude. The so material, glossy, yeah, bro. the material that they look like, it, it feels like they are, like, I didn't ever look at those and see and imagine them being like full on leather body suits. And when it <laughs> turned out that that's the texture they went with, I'm like, huh. Yeah, I, I, on PS2, I always thought they were just, like, cloth. Yeah, that's yeah, what I thought. Yeah, they, like, they but... made him leather. Because he has a fucking, of course he does, leather and belts. But yeah, dude. the reason I wanted to bring They're back... Impossible to breathe in. ...to Ventus was, I actually like Ventus's 
design like his actual costume i really like they just mm-hmm. the way that they fucked it up was you know two isn't face. enough guys <laughs> let's uh, exhibit c fucking vanitas which is absolutely oh, fucking horrendous like that is ugly ass design 101 dude like why has he got the iron man bottom cowl of his fucking helmet oh. on why like the red lines and shit like that like it's so bad like it's like oh look it's the evil version of him and he looks like sora quirky i'm like fuck off dude it's so shit it's awful it's like this is the definition of no more a try not to add 60 bajillion characters to kingdom hearts challenge like no <laughs> he's just like we need more villains we don't have enough we killed off some of the original 13 so we have to make it up somehow make make a new 13 yeah like i just think like so many kingdom hearts designs are stupid and dumb and most of the characters are like oh i love thingy's design i'm like no you like his face and their hair color because that's all organization 13 are are the same mm-hmm. fucking costumes with different hair colors like that's all it is i'm like i like a lot of the organization members i think a lot of them are pretty cool i think their designs are all terrible and i wish they all had actual unique designs zikabar has got an eye patch that's pretty neat yeah <laughs> And I really, I do wish that when we get to, um, when we eventually get to the next uh, era of Kingdom Hearts in 2028 at this rate, that when there are more villains, when the Master of Masters does reveal himself, that it's not just him with his fucking hood down for the rest of the thing, that he actually has an outfit, that there's other people. I mean, the villains tend, or the main villain tend to actually have designs, like uh, Xemnas, once you actually fight him, changes clothes. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, it's not like Ansem was stuck being. Well, that was before. No, he undid his top yeah, dude. Ansem yeah. was before the cloaks. Yeah, Ansem was pre. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah he it was, was PC, dude. Pre cloak. Yeah. <laughs> In the Kingdom Hearts universe, but it's, even <clears> stuff <throat> like like Lushu, which um, you know, it's like he's just still walking around with his cloak and his hood down. Even like, oh, like let's let, let's um. Sorry, Zigbar. Let's get it right. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. Hold you said Lucio, and I'm like, which character is that? Zigbar. Oh, yeah. Eye patch. Eye patch. Um, but he's Brig. still walking around with just his shitty hoodie on. I'm like, get your hoodie. Speaking from, speaking from experience, <laughs> sometimes you can take your hoodie off, guys. Come on. Maybe give it Yuma. He needs one. Like, fucking hell. Like, <laughs> calm down. Um, but, you know, I just like. We always do it, though. Like, whenever a new... I'm always excited for Kingdom Hearts, because when you, like... I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 4. I can't wait to see what absolutely awful outfit they give Riku this time, because his outfits get worse and worse each fucking time. Fucking khaki looking ass. Like... Or, like, you know, Kairi's... I, I, I like Kairi's outfit in Kingdom Hearts 3, to be honest, actually. I think it's pretty decent. But still, I'm like... It, they all went plaid last time. What's the new one gonna be? How are they all gonna look stupid? Like... He just flannel. No, flan- oh, I hope so. I'm a, <laughs> like, oh. I'm like I said, I know people didn't like Sora's Kingdom Hearts three outfit, but I actually really did like his outfit. I was like, you know, I kind of like the other ones he the- had. Mm. I still prefer his KH two look, but the one in three grew on me. I I absolutely love because the one in Kingdom <clears throat> Hearts three actually even though it looks anime as shit and it looks dorky as hell, it was the first time. Same with Kyrie's outfit, really, where I'm like, oh. They're wearing clothes. <laughs> like, this feels like they're wearing clothes. They're not wearing... Like, I don't know why. Whenever I look at Sora's clown shoes or whatever, I'm like, he's a character. It's a costume, right? Whereas, like, I'm like, oh, no. They feel like clothes because it's, it's got a bit of plaid in it. <laughs> you know? It's pretty good. Mm. But, yeah. I can Kingdom see Hearts that. <clears throat> it is. Uh, anyway. Let's carry on. Hunter, what have you got for us next? Was it not Kyle's turn? Yeah, so oh, not it not Kyle's, Kyle's turn? turn? It is Kyle's I turn. But I go Kyle's after Ethan. Yeah, it is yeah. your turn. Sorry, Kyle. Yo, thanks, best buddy. Sorry, Kyle. I'm just getting my order mixed up. Don't mind me. Hey, no worries, man. Um, Well, I guess on the subject of, like, evil counterparts. Oh, good. Persona 5 is a video game. Yeah. And... I'm gonna put Persona as the topic. Talk topic. No oh no! From Persona, so uh, <laughs> this will be interesting. Go on. Um, so I really like Akechi. He was one of my favorite characters from that game. His 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 his, his, his it, second it, outfit's it, awful. It's his evil evil costume. His Loki costume. 
<laughs> Which is so stupid because that yeah, is like <clears throat> Loki um is such like in any mythology is such an interesting kind of take. You could do so much with going, okay, you've got his um justice outfit and then you've got his chaos outfit. And mm-hmm. it's like the you could do so much with a lo- like with just the idea of Loki. And what do they do? They make him look like a fucking black and white barber pole dude like what the fuck is that <laughs> outfit like it's so dumb i hate it it's really ugly it's so bad while we're like, here even... i wasn't really big on his goofy little matador outfit either no you see i like his matador outfit because i, I like i like it because it's not supposed <clears throat> to be cool it is Akechi, who is 18, right? 19. It's what a... It's it's his, what he thinks is his kind of... What justice kind of represents. It's supposed to be cheesy and shit like that. It's like, it's supposed mm-hmm. to be almost like a movie costume to him. Where it's like, this is his fake yeah. form of justice. Whereas it's like, this is this stupid mask is his real personality, which looks stupid. It's fucking awful. It's also why it. he fights with like a laser sword and a, a laser gun. Yeah, it's it's the shit he thinks is cool. Mm. I also like his crow, like his justice design, because it does a really good job contrasting with Joker's costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which you know he's meant to be his rival makes sense, but when he turns Loki, it's like okay, now he's just another character in the main cast, garbed in all black. And his posture, dude. Why has he got his fucking back like inverted? Like, why is he going like? <laughs> <laughs> dude he's throwing it back the anti-posture dude like that's the, uh, way. the way he stood when like specifically at the end of the uh fifth palace where it shows you the bit there his posture there was always perplexing to me it looked like he looked like one of his shoulders was trying to like sag off of his body yeah and yeah he looked he was standing like a male uh blood elf from warcraft <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, Weird. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it to be honest. I'm not at all. And while we Also here, the helmet, the helmet yeah. looks completely ridiculous. Yeah, it's awful. It's awful. Um it's even like I say it's even funnier in um <clears throat> Royal because obviously you mm-hmm. get to play with it and stuff and it's like yeah. oh, it's it's not good. It's really not. He's really fun to play as, but like oh, the outfit not great. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Persona, I well, I have t- I have two particular. I have one from Persona Three and one from Persona Five. So, and I do want to state this is spoilers for Persona Five Royal. If you have not yet played it, you can skip to the time scam because this is big, pre- pretty pivotal character. Uh, I really do not like Maruki's final outfit. I think in the yeah. white suit, in the white suit, I think he looks sick. Like I absolutely yeah, adore the white, the white suit. suit, and I'm glad it, the way he goes back to that for the like the last bit of the fight. But yeah, in the white suit there. with his glasses and everything, I think he looks incredible. <laughs> I love it. The stupid fucking outfit that he wears at the end of the game. I'm not going to show it because again, if people are skipping timestamps. They might see a glimpse of it, and I don't want to spoil anything still. But it's so bad. It's awful. It's Fucking bronze kneecap looking ass over here. <laughs> it's, he's like the opposite of the crimson chin, dude. Like, he's like the fucking, the golden forehead. Like, what is that? It's ugly <laughs> as hell. I hate it. Um, oh. His stupid staff as well. Like, it's not good. It really isn't that good. Um... Well, yeah, I think it's horrendous, uh, which is a shame because again, in the white suit, he looks great. Yeah, and thank God yeah. he goes back to it, like Hunter said, because <clears throat> yeah. If I it's, had to it's... do the drunken bar fight with him wearing that goofy apparatus on his head, that would not that would have taken the wind out of the moment. <laughs> but at least he could have punched it off him. Could have punched yeah. it off his face. That would have been maybe satisfying. Uh, and the other one is, uh, I you know. It's just it's a it's a really bad design, and, and uh, we're gonna see it again. And I don't know what like the fucking moon confidant in Persona Three is such. I don't remember his name. His name is N- Nozomi. <laughs> it's so bad where it's like it's almost comical. Like it's like 
I look at that character design, I'm like, oh, it was made in the 2000s. You're right, guys, because it's just like, this is what, look, look at him. He's like, I hate his character in general, to be honest. He's just like, you're stereotypical. I hate, this is what character we make when we want to make fun of a fat person, really. And it's like, no, it's terrible. And his design's terrible. I hate it. Look at it. It's bad. I know that depression is a theme in P3. That guy looks like he grew up to become a... Matarame or whoever the Makoto Kanashiro. Kanashiro. Oh yeah. That's but now he, look at it's so bad, and it's just like I don't know if it's because of a mix of his confidant as well. Because obviously Hunter, you've not played it, but the mix of his confidant is also he's one of the only characters you can talk to at night. So if you do want to do something at night, you're forced to fucking spend time with him. It's like oh, that's crazy. They always do for the moon confidants. They make them bad and only available at nighttime. But not only that, but then he's like, not only do they do the whole fat thing and the the jokes and all of that stuff, he's then also part of a cult. It's like they just decided yeah. to just give it, it's like give him the worst hand of all time. And I'm like, God, that's so bad. And like I say, his his uniform doesn't fit him and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it's really fucking not it. It's really bad. Um, yeah. I think that was one of the of one of the few social links I deliberately chose not to do in my playthrough. Yeah, I gave up on it after a while. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm to like, you. if this is a life sim, I'm not spending my life with this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Same. thanks, buddy. I'm gonna go like, see Mitsuru. You know, Hunter, you've got a point. You know, I feel like. And I know it's 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 kind of like the whole point of the arcanas really is like you do tend to gravitate towards certain arcanas in most in like all the games like it's like I've noticed like do gravitate to certain characters that fit those arcanas, mm-hmm. and it's like Moon Arcana always not good always not good for me. I don't always remember who it was fan. in four, but in five it was I think Mishima, it was so. Ebihara. Oh. I she was cool. I liked her social link. Uh, yeah. she was she was probably the best of the three. But uh, again, she kind of gave. She she she, was, she, she had an interesting story because I did finish it. But it was more of the like, oh, it's one of these. It's one of these ones. It's the popular girl's an annoying person, and the reason that she's annoying and horrible to everybody is because her life's fucked. I'm like, okay, we're doing that one, and it was fun, and it was better than was both better of the other two. Yeah. But the only thing I'm not looking forward to that's that's what annoys me about P three is. Your actual uh, male friends not allowed social links. That fucker, yeah, yeah sure. And it's gonna annoy yeah, me in reload when I'm like, yeah, we're gonna have new events for them, but I'm still gonna be like, well, if I'm gonna, if there's a trophy for trying to do all the social links, I'm gonna have to fucking talk to that guy, and I don't want to. I really don't. No. Oh, well. Social link rank up parentheses begrudgingly. Yeah. Yeah. And what, yeah, it's, you know, it, it it's funny. It, it's funny. Like I say, to be fair, most of the, I love a lot of the designs in Persona. I think a lot mm-hmm. of the designs are very well done. There's oh, a yeah. reason why they have the exact same artist, character artist for every game. It's because they rarely miss. Um, but when they do, they do. Uh, <laughs> quite a bit. They, they miss hard. Right. And even still, I'm like some of the Phantom Thief outfits, they grew on me over time. Whenever I see them the first time, I'm like, that's goofy as shit. <laughs> then I eventually yeah. I'm like, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm still not a huge fan of Futaba's fucking outfit still, really? to be honest. I still think it's huh. ugly as hell. Um, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look great. I think, it, I think I give it a pass because I think it works for what they're going for, but. It does, but it's also one of those things where you're like, best. oh, Japan. Like, I feel like the I'm sort of some of the designs I'm just like, ah, oh, you could have done something way cooler than this for a hacker concept of an outfit. You could have done something way cooler, but you didn't. And oh well. It's fine. I mean, it's I guess. like it's like black and green matrix design. Yeah. I think it's the weird squid eye goggles that It's the squid eye goggles. Dude. Okay, that's now fair. you said Matrix that would be like that would I I do think it would be really funny if it's like, oh yeah, Persona outfit, you have all these outlandish ideas and then just Futama's just got a trench coat. <laughs> What's up, like, that trench coat and sunglasses, dude. <laughs> like yeah. It was <laughs> Keanu Reeves, dude. Just like yeah, well, just because Persona Keanu. like after later, it would make a lot of sense because like Joker is one of her favorite people, so 
duping mm. a design that looks kind of like him would be her idea of what a hero would be. It would make sense that way, but yeah, yeah. that would be funny though. Yeah. Oh well. Well, maybe in Persona Five too. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah! Maybe. Call me. Call me. <laughs> I she will say this one. Wearing a longer I, yeah. coat and strikers. I will say this though, and that's like Persona Six. Whatever they do, I really hope that when they go into the dungeons, they I do have the different character change, designs. Because I really like the idea of stupid. Because when I go back to P four and three, I'm like, man, dude, I wish there was that separation still. Because I think it really helps kind of separate what they're doing and the thing in school life. Well, Reload is doing something like that. Oh yeah, with the new having, like modified the versions bones. of their school outfits. Yeah, which I think is really cool, and I hope that continues further. To be honest, because it's a cool concept. Yeah. I'm not saying that everybody has to look like a superhero when they enter the fucking <laughs> uh, the Shadow Realm, but you know, cool changes. Right, Hunter. I believe it's your turn because that was an extended yeah. piece from both me yeah, and Kyle. So it's, you're up next, bit. buddy. What have you got? All right, I'm gonna dip back into a twisted metal. For Sweet Tooth being the mascot character, it took them five games to get the right design. Uh, I've never really paid attention to Twisted Metal, I'm not going to lie to you. Me either. Yeah, okay, but the specific one that's really bad to me is Twisted Metal 3. Sweet Tooth looks incredibly silly because they couldn't... They spent the first four games... They spent the first four games this. not being able to decide whether his head was actually on fire or if it just kind of looked like it was on fire. <laughs> Why he does he is... look like he's about to sell me fucking... He's going to sell me a car, dude. Like, why? why yeah, yeah. Like so that? Twisted Metal 3's problem is that it his hair just is styled to look like fire but is very clearly not actually on fire there. And he's wearing this weird... Fire? No, it's no. not. Because, but like, in the promotional materials for Twisted Metal Three, it is. It looks like it is. Yeah. Oh no, there's an in-game picture. Yeah, that's not on fire. The in-game yeah. just looks not, like but, Johnny Test. Yeah, but inside, like the artwork, the, the artwork that they use there, like um, on like the box art or something like that, or in the menu yeah. or something like that. Not only does his hair look on fire, I don't know if you can see this, Kyle, because I think we're looking at the same image. I'll put it up for everybody at home in a second if the <laughs> website actually loads. Like, the truck look still looks it. like it's on fire. Like, yeah. the clown head on the truck. I think you can see it. Let's have a look. Like this one that. here. He looks like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> like Ghost Rider? Yeah, like, he looks like yeah. Nicolas Cage. He has his fucking facial structure there. I'm like, that's like, weird as hell. Like, yeah, it's an, <laughs> that's an awful design. I never knew Switch would look like that. I just thought he was always fat, bald, fiery guy. Yeah, yeah, like, the Twisted Metal Black <laughs> design is the one that just became what he looks like now, because that's undefeatable. <laughs> um, mm. Because, you know, the mask with the, just, f the clown mask with the flaming hair and, the, like, the polka-dotted pants and stuff, that looks great for what they're going for there, but, like, the pink suit, the pink checkered suit with the uh, not-flaming-fire hair there mm. is the worst mm. it's ever looked. And I don't really think any of his other designs before Black were great either. Like, uh, 4, at least he, like, took over the competition, so the circus ringleader thing made sense. 2, I didn't think looked great. And 1, his was another instance of not only was his hair not on fire, his hair was, like, green or something weird. But I'll, <laughs> they I'll did give translate that it. I will admit, I just found a screenshot of the, <clears throat> the TV show that they did this year. They did do a good job of trans translating him to tv he does look identical to the fucking it's, it's an game. easy design to pull off for yeah. a person like aside yeah. from the actual fire that would be on his head you know <laughs> which they um, did do yeah so, but like the paid the big books for that one. cg polka dot pants harness yeah. clown mask it's easy but, yeah and twisted um, metal one he just looks like the joker yeah he looks like he looks like the joker's like um knock off yeah like <laughs> Mm -hmm. legally distinct joker <laughs> legally yeah. distinct joker yeah exactly but no yeah you've i've learned something new today about twisted metal it seems yeah but yeah i 100 percent agree with that i 100 percent right. agree with that that is a horrifying character <laughs> you know i want to go back a little because I've, I've i've covered most of mine actually for the most part but um <clears throat> 
there's one that I did want to go and uh, mention again. We're going back to we're going back to childhood here, guys. We're going back to childhood, here and not really before. from my child. Like Spyro the Dragon, I mentioned it earlier. Was Spyro announced at the Game Awards or not? I don't know. Probably disappointed the week after this, so find out. Um, but Spyro is a character that obviously grew up with. PS1 Spyro, love that design. Spyro in the PS2 games, even in like a Hero's Tale, I'm like, you know, I think they're fine. Some of them are pretty bad, but you know, it's fa fair enough. The one that I want to draw eyes to is, I was a bit too old for Skylanders. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I saw what they did to my boy, <laughs> I was like, oh, I think even if I was young, I would hate it. What is this? Like, what is this design from the first Skylanders? Eventually, they eventually tried to change it. And every, I think all the Skylanders designs for Spyro are fucking terrible. But the original one in particular, they were like, make him look ugly. Make him look he like a reptile. He doesn't look like an actual dragon. He looks like a quadruped goblin. He looks like he's got <laughs> goblin face, dude. He's got goblin yeah, face. He does. <laughs> I hate it. And it's, why is his tail so fucking long? He's got like he's got like a massive tail like it's it's such an ugly ugly ass design and i hate it um and have you seen the action figure like the actual skylanders figure that they're like mm, yes this is what we should base it on look how good it looks oh fucking awful like actually hor horrid why does it look like he's got a lazy eye because he has <laughs> no um yeah i hate it and this is they eventually changed it still don't like it and when you look I mean, at the like it looks better. Yeah, it's but, yeah. but it but it's not uh but like when you finally like when you compare it to the fucking reignited spyro, which I'm like, that's the best spyro design that they ever did. And I'm like, man, what a glow up that Toys for Bob went from the worst thing I've ever seen in my life to that in the course of like eight yeah. years. It only took them eight years, but they, they got there eventually <laughs> in the end. Man. What an awful fucking design. Skylanders itself, I've never been a huge fan of the character design in Skylanders, to be honest. I've always thought mm -hmm. they've all looked a bit... They, It's funny that they're all like action figures that you had to collect because they all looked like bargain bin character designs. So when you saw them super on <laughs> sale, you were like, that makes sense. They look like ass. Especially yeah. when like stuff like Lego Dimensions and stuff was actual Lego for a sets that for franchises mm -hmm. you actually cared about. It always makes me laugh that Skylanders was the one that was the big hit because I thought that a lot of the characters were ugly as shit and terrible. So, you know. <clears throat> oh, well, it's quite funny anyway. Uh, Hunter, how many more do you have left, Hunter, actually? Just out of curiosity. Um, let's see. Uh, we already covered So I can probably come up with something so can... else to bash. I've got, well, I've got one that's not really an entry and then I've got an actual one that I can talk about. Okay. Actually, and... same. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kyle. I guess you're up next, aren't you? Well, uh, after this one, then I'll yep. match Hunter. So but yeah, um, where to go? Uh, I lost my tab. Um, Axel Low from Guilty Gear, specifically Guilty Gear Exerd. Axel Lodo. Axel Low. Yeah. Yeah. That's so I'll give you some back. Which one? Um. Guilty Gear Xrd, XRD. I'll give you some background on this character. He's a time traveling British dude. Not to be confused with Doctor Who. Oh no, he's he's ugly. He's not like Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, not at all, dude. Look at those jorts. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Look at the jorts, dude. <laughs> dude why has he got Rex shorts? Oh, bro? Why has he got <laughs> oh my god, shorts, yeah, dude. those are, that's hideous. Dude, he's you, got like, like the, you like he's the got UK a, flags hanging off his hips? Yeah, the UK yeah, fold there? That's not great. It's <laughs> pretty great, dude. That's pretty hot. He's not my like Doctor Who, dude. That's not David Tennant. He's got <laughs> that he's got that he's got the Pokemon villain bandana. Yeah, dude. This yeah. is certainly a design. Yeah, I don't even know where to like You got the loafers too? Look at that. That's awful. It's actually look at, like his, look at his legs, he's not wearing dude. Socks. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> so he's like, which look is how veiny his legs are. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That's yeah. I just. It looks to me like they just had a generic fucking character design, and then they were like, 
British, stick the flag on him, make him look a bit like a pirate, and make him wear loafers. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? It's awful. Hate it. Oh. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That's about uh, it. That's it for this one, guys. It looks that's like it. ass. What can we say? It looks it's a really goofy bad. Ass looking character. They yeah. fixed him in Strife. He looks a lot better in that. He's got a British flag belt buckle in that game, instead of the flags off his hips. But man, oh, yeah, there's just yeah, a lot British going flag. on there. Yeah, you know, you know what? You know, it's good. You know, it's good when he's got a bit of plaid, baby. <laughs> yeah. Are you look, are, are you looking at his Strive design? Yeah. Look, that's dude, so do you much like the better, three dude. zippers? <laughs> On dude, his chest. three zippers, some plaid, dude. Oh, that's much better. A lot better. Still don't like the bandana, though. No. Still not a huge fan of the bandana, but he's giving off lumberjack vibes everywhere else, and I, I kind of oh. vibe with it. Uh, okay, then, I guess. Hunter, what's your last pick? All right, so before I get to the last one, I just want to shout out this very goofy NPC I saw in Baldur's Gate earlier this week where it was it was one of the I, I was in like the give the yankee stronghold that's the race that lazel is from <clears throat> and like I, this npc i don't recall if they actually had a specific name or if it was just get the yankee child and he got in this get the yankee child got the worst genetic lottery i've ever seen in my <laughs> life he had a long <laughs> he had like a very long neck and a bowl cut and like oh bulgy no. <laughs> eyes i'm like oh my god what happened to you <laughs> Describing my childhood, bro. You're describing my childhood. <laughs> so, um, like, there's not much to go off of there because it's just like I'm pretty sure that was probably just they hit random on the yeah, asset yeah. a couple of times and sent it. So, fair enough. Whatever. It's just he was specific. It was the only NPC so far. <laughs> I'm like, what is with this kid? <laughs> but my Whose last child is this. My last one is pretty much the design ethos of a whole game with a special shout out. In Justice 2, I think all of the character designs are bad. Uh, <laughs> specifically, the Joker in that one is not great because it's like if it's like they tried to out a uh, teenage edge lord <clears throat> Jared Leto's version. That's what I was gonna say. I was literally like, it's it's like it looks like any poster of fan art that any teenager that liked the Joker in the 2010s had, dude. Like, that yeah, any teenager like... who missed the point of what the Joker actually is like. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. Not, oh, that's not yeah. Fun of that. He's that's got cute. he's got a he's got a trench coat and he's not. Yeah, he's got a trench coat. He's got, got a the, stupid got the like, comb over. Yeah, he's got the stupid emo comb over thing. All of that, not great, and like ostensibly this should be something that i should look at and be like okay it doesn't even look it's not like it's not a good design for the joker but it still seems like something that i might like and i don't so they did something wrong <laughs> it's and okay. then as far as the rest of the characters in injustice go i just don't like the stupid little armor padding stuff that goes on and those costumes like superman's wearing this stupid like chin guard it's <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anyone in those games look good. Yeah, they all look pretty bad. I mean, the only person that I can see here that I'm like looks fine is Harley Quinn, but it's really hard to fuck up a Harley Quinn design. That that's a that's an yeah. accomplishment if you fuck up Harley Quinn because you either go super classic or you go black and red with blonde hair. And it's like that's that's what you go for, and it's like okay, you didn't fuck it up, um. But yeah, well, actually, I say that in Gotham Knights, I did not like got Harley Quinn's design in Gotham Knights. Actually, I take it back. You can fuck oh. up Harley Quinn. It's another um, strike against that game, I guess. And I'm not surprised. Let me get the let me get an image up. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Red Hood looks really bad in that game too. In Gotham Knights, yeah, it does look. It looks like Deadpool looking ass, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, you should yeah look up Holly Quinn. She's not good. She's got like an ace of spades on it, like face paint oh, all over her face and stuff spades. like that. Yeah, I really, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of this design at all. Uh, the performance was fine, but I really did not like the uh, a lot of Gotham Knights. I don't like the outfits for. So a special shout out to that one as well. I oh guess. my god, yeah, <laughs> she looks like uh, it looks like they tried to give her the like black metal face paint, like the that you'll see bands like with the corpse paint and stuff and that doesn't fit her at all that's goofy yeah and it it, it annoys me right because um 
in terms of like DC and in terms of Batman in particular, I wasn't a big comic book person. I wasn't a big movie person. I didn't see the Dark Knight trilogy until way past after they released. Like I was, in, I was in my late teens by the time I'd seen those. So my only kind of point of reference to Batman really was the Arkham games, and I really liked Harley Quinn in the Arkham games. And so, like, Harley Quinn is always a character where I'm like, I really like Harley Quinn as a character. So whenever I see her in other stuff, I'm like, I just got a picture of that design that, like, has her, like, rearing up to take a swing with the hammer. And upon further inspection, it looks like she's wearing a cropped version of this jacket. Like, there's a bunch, <laughs> of, there's a bunch of rope and stuff going down the sleeve. And it's yeah, and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work for those kind of movements. Like, it would not yeah. be good for swinging a hammer with at all no i would not swing a giant mallet in this coat i would not have a great degree of success with that but yeah like i say as someone who wasn't a massive comics person but was a massive fan of harley quinn whenever i see a like that terrible design stood out to me so i'm like wow it's usually quite hard to fuck up a harley quinn design and they really did um which is funny because i think the second worst one is probably the arkham asylum one um because it's still a bit too kind of um comic booky and she's like yeah i'm not a huge fan of it i really like her arkham knight design actually i'm just looking at all the harley quinn designs now the arkham knight one was probably the best one uh, suicide squad's one's good as well but that game doesn't exist and it can't hurt us that's uh, not true yeah i mean my final one is just kind of if we ever do a continuation of this and just talk about terrible art styles in general i think this game will um will show up uh but just the absolute tragedy of brilliant diamond and shining pearls <laughs> designs of everything oh. oh man because i think the actual character designs when you're in a fight with those specific trainers are all right i think they're fine i still think they're a bit basic compared to uh gen 8 and gen 9 um but my fucking god, the chibis. I hate the fucking chibis. I just, I despise them. There's Isn't nothing in this world that I hate more than the fucking chibis in this game. They strip all personality from... Ev That's the thing that pisses me off. If it was... I'd Like, a Link, Link's Awakening, I think, is a fabulous remake. Because not only is it a gorgeous game but it still manages to cram so much personality into those little figures and those little models it just manages mm. to cram so much stuff into that and then you look at these guys and they all look the same but they look like you've just swapped like the hair funko out pops. and they all they all have they have the funko pop syndrome they all have the fucking void of emotion <laughs> smile yeah and they're just staring into oblivion i absolutely despise these character designs i i i'm I'll still angry remember. Those games came out three years ago or something like that, and I'm still angry. I'll always remember when that trailer first launched, like the first trailer for that game launched. Me, you, and Jack were all in a call, and when we saw the camera pan to Dawn looking at her computer, we all just burst out laughing. I fucking laughed. That like, was a I moment of camaraderie like, between like, the three of us. Like yeah, it was like it was just extremely funny, and it was like it, I, I, if you like those games, fair enough. But mm -hmm. they're the worst Pokemon games on Nintendo Switch. It's not even close, and it's like I think it's personally an insult when you look at how whether you like the catching mechanic of Let's Go, the fact that they were so able to so beautifully recreate those Gen One games with a new experience. They looked fabulous. All the character designs were great. The music and all of that jazz, like they 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 spiced up the music. It was all great. If you didn't like the Let's Go mechanic, fair enough. But I think in terms of a remake and something for beginner Pokemon players, I think it's a fantastic game. Then you look at this and you're like, wow, that looks like you just wanted to make a quick cash grab real quick. Like I would have preferred Let's Go Sinnoh over this. I genuinely yeah. would have because these add nothing. That's like they just like, copy pasted why? Diamond and Pearl and didn't and when include people, the and when people quality say, of life of Platinum. When people say why, do, like I always, it pisses me off because Pokemon fans will literally die on a hill where the is it, they what they die on a hill that's trying to push them off. Like it's like there's yeah. no point. But it's like when people are like, oh, why can't you just let things? If you don't like it, it's not for you. Move on. I'm like, no, because there's no point to this existing. There is no, there's in zero way, shape, or form is this game better in any way to the platinum at all mm -hmm. in any way. 
you can say that you don't like Oras, but Oras added a load of things that weren't in the originals that you could go and do if you felt so inclined. Hot Gold and Soul Silver the same way. This game added yep. nothing. And at least the ba- the bare bones minimum you expect from a remake is a reevaluation of art design and to make it look incredible and it looks anything but. Right. It's still an ugly ass game and the character models suck all of them. <laughs> And the stupid, yeah, I'm even, I'm even not a fan of the, um, the little Pokemon models <laughs> running around as well. They all like, you've got really fucking janky animations and they're not great. You got so many characters that, cause they don't have legs. They didn't think about like, oh, what are we going to do here? They just drag them along the fucking floor. Like it's no one's business. <laughs> like, no, it's so dumb. Stupid fucking game. Hate it. Anyway. Bent over. Kyle, what's your final pick? Over. And the final pick of the episode, I guess. Uh-huh. So my last Impression. one, kind of like, kind of like Hunters, it's an all-encompassing one, kind of just like a character design trope that I'm very tired of seeing. The thousand-year-old child trope. Can we just stop that, <laughs> please? Please, for the love of God, I'm specifically looking at Fire Emblem. They do this shit all the time. I I love that I'm actually 70,000 years old, guys. Hear me out. Yeah. In like a 10-year-old's body. It's great, dude. Doesn't make me feel uncomfortable at all. (laughs) Yeah, I hate it as well, to be honest. I, um... I mean, that's an anime trope in general, but I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge... I'm not a huge fan of any of those kind of things. It's something that just doesn't translate well to the Western audience. No, because it, do- it shouldn't, because it's weird. It That's why, yeah. it's weird. It's not because yeah. it's like, oh, it's just, you know, culture's different. It's not different. like a I'm cultural like, difference. No, like, I'm like, it it's, just, it, no. it's like Japan didn't get the software update that made that de- determined that cringe, and they were just like, they're just running <laughs> on an old fucking firmware, and we look and we go, wait, you still, like, that's still a thing in the <laughs> still year Japan 2023? Still? Like, really? Like, I hate it, man. I genuinely hate it. It's awful. I guess, yeah, I'm just not a fan of it at all. No. Like, no. It's, it's, it's stupid. I, I, I think that's the problem with JRPGs or Japanese games uh, in the, like, in general, is I feel like there's only three ages of characters. Well, no, there's four ages of characters in all kind of JRPGs and anime, right? You have got mm-hmm. children. <clears throat> yeah. You have got teenagers or you've got teenagers and young adults who look the exact fucking same if someone is if someone is 16 to 34 congratulations in jrpg world they <laughs> all look the same then you've got the people who look like that category but are actually or slightly younger or, or they look like either the two categories but they're a thousand years old that's the third category and then the fourth category is anyone over the age of 28 that looks 62 and about on death's door and that's it <laughs> they are the only characters that you have and it's just like it, it annoys me to no end it's just like i never look at a character in a game and go oh yeah in a jrpg and i'm like you know they look about 30 they don't exist they mm-hmm. don't exist you either look super young or you look like you're on death's door there's no in between Which... in jrpg land you peak at 17 yeah it is and... all downhill after that i mean don't get me wrong right i feel like you know high school university it's a very defining moment in people's lives right it's where you kind of find yourself as a person unless you're me and you you miss that uh, you miss the memo on that and you're still trying to figure shit out right but for the most part that's when you transition the most into who you want to be right so i understand their kind of obsession with because it's it's a brilliant place for storytelling because you can have characters change Mm. and motive change pretty naturally but it's like just like i'm not i'm not sitting playing god of war and going oh what 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 age is uh atreus i'm like no in the first one he's a kid in the second one he's a moody teenager and i'm like i've got it here whereas if that game was a fucking anime from the first time i'd be like uh so is he 10 or 22 like can we get to like <laughs> where is atreus on this timeline because kratos will look like he's nearly deceased so i'm like where's like where's the <laughs> line here i can't compare it does annoy me to be honest um and then to be honest the amount of times that i do look up like when i'm looking up stuff in characters i'm like what they're like they're, they're 35 yeah. It's like whenever um 
Kawakami is a great one in Persona 5 when I'm like, okay, Kawa, you know, because Kawakami, you know, I'm just like, okay, she's your teacher. And I'm like, to me, I was like, oh, she's one of those teachers that's like, you know, she's just started. She's like 24 or whatever. And then you look up like what she's supposed to be. And she's like in her mid thirties. I'm like, fuck off. Like, I'm like, actually, <laughs> fuck off. From her, the way her performance is, I 100% feel that. She does feel you like see, someone yeah, who's I been think, teaching for quite a few the, years uh... and is sick of shit. Mm-hmm. I think the general aura of her characters made character made me place her in like early thirties because she seems exhausted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But from her actual character, if you just took a fucking photo, I'd be like, oh, you know, like twenty something year old teacher who's just started the job. <laughs> like, it's like I hate stuff <laughs> like that. I hate having to guess it. Not that I need to for those circumstances, but it just it it does annoy me. <laughs> it always irks me. Yeah, and like that's the sa- that's the same ordeal with most of the adult ladies in persona five at least like dr take me doesn't look like she went through all of medical school yeah Sai doesn't look like she would be as old as she would be after well no she doesn't make sense she just doesn't make sense she's an anomaly in general she yeah. it doesn't work the age yeah, gap doesn't... between those two doesn't between makoto and her does not add up to the fact that she could have gone through the entirety of law school and have a job like it just doesn't add up <laughs> like, the years don't add up job too there would have to be 10 well, years between them. There'd have to be 10 years between look, them. And she just, that just really doesn't... applied herself. Yeah, yeah, which I guess you have to apply anime superpowers to everyone who's... <laughs> Rise and grind, Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I forgot. I forgot if you work through the night, then you can do everything in half time. I forgot there's two parts, exactly, there's two times dude. the amount of time. No days off. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's just, it's, it's weird, right? But at the same time, I don't ever have to think about this when I'm playing a Western game, because it's just like, one, it's not relevant. It's not relevant. But two, yeah. it's like, I can tell from the way a character looks. I'm like, I don't have to play this game where I'm like, are you tw- are you 20 or are you are you 35 and just look like a 20 year old? <laughs> That's just anime, though. That's anime for you guys. That's anime. You just got to deal with it. Oh, well. But no, I do hate the fucking thousand year old fucking yeah. child trope, dude. Like, I don't like it. Fire Emblem, yeah, it's pretty bad. And to be honest, I'm, I, I'm luckily, I'm like on the JRPG iceberg. I am still pretty high enough that I think Fire Emblem is the only place where I've really experienced it. Actually, no, Scarlet Nexus had whatever her name is, who's, um, what was her name? Girl that wanted Hunter, the girl that was uh, always wanted to eat, and you had to drink a load of fucking soda because she wanted free soda for a year or something. Can't remember Arashi. her name. Arashi? Arashi, yeah, she's the older sister to somebody, and she looks like yeah. she's fucking twelve. <laughs> like I didn't one think of those. She looked like a child. Uh, the one kid, the one Luca guy. Yeah. Was well, yeah, he definitely think, did look like hair a child. Uh, I think Arashi is just. She seems like a. She seemed like. Just kind of short, not yeah. like a child. Not to, to me, I was like, they always do it when they just make someone that's like that looks like <laughs> extremely short, basically looks like a child, and it's like actually, guys. She's the older sister. She's twenty five. <laughs> I'm like, like, why? I, I never got the impression from that. I, th- I, I, I thought the older sister thing was stupid because of them just being like, oh yes, no one looks like, no one's age is what they look like here because the world of this universe is silly. <laughs> See, I just go, oh, it's anime. I guess this is what happens. Like I say, I'm not. My foot isn't deep enough into the fucking pool to be able to go. Oh yes. I'm like no. It's weird. But anyway, I guess that's it. There we go, guys. Uh, those are some of our least favorite character designs in games. What have we missed? Oh, Probably man. a lot. Let I us know what you think. The, the Miles Morales suit. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> awful, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I had it written down, and I think I forgot about it, and I was leaving it for later in case that was something you decided to say. No, I did forget. Fucking awful. Like, honest to oh, my like, God. Like, I'm not using that image because someone's decided to put all their social media on the screen, like it's as if it's their <laughs> own copyrighted work. Bitch, please, it's a shitty screenshot from an awful costume at the end of the game. Awful. I'd hate it less if his hair didn't stick out, but I still think it's bad. Like, my, my favorite part was about how he needed to make his. He, he was like, it was time for an original suit, and then he took the design ethos of one of Peter's suits. Yeah, and also he's like, like it's time for it's an original. Although. You've got to take you got to take that logic with a pinch of salt. I still don't understand how Miles made the original Miles Morales suit in the span of like an afternoon with Peter's 
old nasty suit. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense either. But you just got to stretch it. Yeah, I don't care about that. It was more so why, if you were going to make a costume original to yourself, why do you use... Why do you use a design that looks like Peter would wear it more than yours? Oh, Peter would not wear that, dude. Peter no, no. I mean, like, if you compare what Miles's other suits look like and compare what Peter's other suits look like, it looks closer to one of Peter's suits. Yeah, I don't really see it, but I, I do see that it looks terrible. Yeah. That's what I you do know, like see. Could, it would have been better if they just did black with, like, the electric blue. Spider I think it, I, I I honestly think I'd hate it less if his hair didn't stick out. I also think that's a terrible Still... idea for someone with a secret identity. Don't give him anything, <laughs> please. Don't give him anything. Yeah. I know at the end of Miles, his whole fucking town knows yeah, who, he, who he is. Knows anyway, but but... Don't give it away for the rest of them because now you're like, hang on, you have the same haircut as Spider Man. Like, oh yeah, you got a point. <laughs> I'm a really big fan. And like, yeah. it's not like Peter has to worry about that. He just has generically short hair. I mean, look on the bright side, guys. I think we all made mu- as so much of a fuss that suit is not coming back in the sequel. Let's, no let's be real here. Why did they feel they needed to change? Like the black one was. It's perfect. because Peter kept getting new suits. Peter got the symbiote suit, and there was like three stages of the symbiote suit, and then he got the the yeah, anti suit. Looked, they were they were like the same thing with varying levels of detail. Like it was yeah, partly... but then he also got the anti venom suit. So P- Peter basically got two suit, two new suits, three new suits because his his new suit was was different because they actually decided they figured out what color red was in spider-man 2 because originally <laughs> yeah. they gave him that ugly fucking like i don't Rust. even know what to call that red color in the original Rusty. yeah it was like flamingo pink like it was gross i hated it yeah. and it's like I, when you have whenever you play spider-man 2 you can swap to the spider-man 1 suit and i didn't notice how awful the contrast was on that suit until you can swap freely between them and they're right next to each other you're like oh my god that is awful i can see what people are complaining about now it's gross uh, but hey anyway let's wrap it up because i think we've been going long enough uh all links are on screen right now if you want to go and follow us on twitter you can keep up to date with everything new outside of the podcast uh like i say we'll be here next week for christmas so don't you worry there will be an episode next week if you uh have chance to watch it then you can go and do that and we'll be waiting for you if not it's all good um and then the following week two weeks today will be the uh, hgas so uh if you've not been keeping up on the website uh they should have started going up by now hopefully. yeah um my list should have gone up on friday the 8th I well i don't know i don't know if i've changed what days it's going up on yet but it will have gone up last week so um mm-hmm go and check it out it should yeah. be up there um i know i scheduled it for the 8th at noon to go i know out. but i haven't I, I don't remember if i worked out the timings on which day i wanted it to go out on yet um but it will be up regardless one of them will be up and it'll probably be cows it'll be up there on the website and then the following two weeks uh both myself and hunter will also be going up there as well so um yeah yeah, that's all I've got to say. Really, cool. that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's we're we're good. In fact, good. thinking about it, if this is going up when I think it's going up, then uh, yeah, mine should be out this week yeah. or Hunter's, whoever's first, probably Hunter, because uh, I'm a terrible writer. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, yeah. But we'll be back next week. We'll talk all about what a year for games it's been. Uh, so look forward to it i guess but until then uh, have an awesome week before christmas i guess have a good time have you got your decorations up you probably should at this point guys you should probably should hurry up uh, <laughs> but yeah well uh, have an awesome week and we'll see you on christmas i guess so yeah see you in a bit bye see ya to the moon.